So the first thing you have to do is create a new UV map, select it, go into edit mode, select the faces around the lips, make sure you include one more edge loop than you actually need, UV unwrap it, I find that a conformal method works best here, but just test them both out and see which one is better. The thing with UV unwrapping blend is, is that it isn't always symmetrical, even though the mesh is obviously symmetrical and the UV map needs to be symmetrical for this to work. Make sure the UV map is straight, it doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure that you get it as close as you can. Scale the map so it fits inside the UV square, add a mix shader, add a gradient texture, Control T with the node wrangler add-on, change the map into texture, and XY location to 0.5, change gradient with quadratic sphere, you can preview what you are doing with Control shift click, add a color ramp, play with the values so you get something like I have, play with the UV map so the fade between the white and the black looks like the outline of your lips. Once you are done, select the first UV map so your textures are unbroken, add the UV map and select your second UV layout, delete your texture coordinate and plug that instead, create a new principal shader and connect to the mix shader, you can play around with the base color to see what the base lip shader will look like, add another mapping node with the second UV map connected, change the type to point, change X, Y and Z location to negative 0.5, I didn't do Z at first in the video, but I will go back and change it later. Duplicate it, connect it to the vector input, change the type to normal, add a noise texture, connect it to the mapping node, change the roughness to 0 and scale it to something like 50 for now. Change the Z scale on the second mapping node until you get something that you like. Create a bump node, change the distance to something like 0.002, use the noise texture as the height and plug the bump to the principle, create a color ramp, change the endpoint color to something more grayish, plug the noise to the factor and plug the color ramp to the roughness, duplicate the color ramp above, plug the gray indentation to that one too, create an RGB mix, plug the factor to the RGB mix, pick the colors of your desired lips, plug into the principle and play around with the color ramp until you get something desirable. The thing that I like about this shader is that because of the way we set up the UV maps, if you open the mouth, it will still be seamless around the corners. And the fact that it is procedural, you can change whatever you want about it. 